Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With The Bridges. In today's episode we are going to take a look at a 5-year-old video of Michelle's in which she tells a tale from her childhood into adulthood which explains everything about her quirkiness. Her video is just her regular vlog, there is nothing really interesting in this specific video except for this story. Let's dive in, shall we? But let me stop this. I got a, I got a, a story for you, a tip story, a, a story for you. Okay, okay. I know I'm a, I'm a chip eating Brady Bunch romance magazine person. Wow, what a way to describe yourself. Her voice and body language infers that she is pissed off and irritated. Wonder why. Also that phrase belongs on a t-shirt. I'm going to tell you a story though. When I was in grade school, okay, I was not the most popular, okay? So my, I would go home and do that. I would watch, eat chips, watch Brady Bunch, and read romance, okay? There was the popular ones, you know, always chased by the boys. You know, never me. I was never chased by the boys. I was never popular. I was never the in crowd, okay? That is not a shocker at all considering her behavior. Now granted, kids can be mean as hell, but you find your clique in school and make friends. She also said grade school meaning K through 5, and boys never chased her. Well it's grade school, boys and girls typically tend to go after each other in middle and high school. Elementary school is usually just crushes and forced Valentine's cards on Valentine's Day, but I'm assuming she never even got one of those. But I'm going to tell you something, my chip-loving sisters here. You look at me and listen to this, okay? Now, I'm going off track here a little bit, but my brother delivers mail. And when he first started, he got in the bad area, like the crack rat infested apartments okay um there's that crackhead out there that's talking about me <laughs> and i mean crackhead she's she probably still is a crackhead i mean let's face it she chose a crack pipe over raising her kids so sound to me like you are all on crack huh? he ran into someone i used to go to grade school with and she wanted my number so she could call to say she was sorry for teasing me so much when when they, we were in school. And she was the popular one. Let me tell you, she had all the boys. Okay. I, I wasn't happy, but my brother gave her my number and she called me. And she tried to apologize to me. Well, I'm going to tell you something, guys. Those popular boys. Yeah, the ones that were cute, you know, you wished they were your boyfriend and chased you around, you know, the, the schoolyard. <laughs> Half of them are in jail. That popular girl with all the boys lives in a rat infested crack apartment building. You're a liar. You're a liar. You know something that you're not telling us, you slimy scumbag liar! Okay, first of all, why would your brother give away your phone number to a random woman? If he was a mailman he would have just delivered the mail, probably had a very short chit chat then left. Second, why would some random old grade school classmate of yours just now decide to want to call you to apologize? You both are in your 50s why would this still be on her mind all these decades later? If you weren't that popular, you wouldn't even cross their mind especially into adulthood. And lastly, if half those popular boys were in jail, that statistically means the other half went on to lead fulfilling lives. Michelle, you are such a liar. But, this one here, this Brady Bunch, Chip Munchin' romance girl here, I live in a beautiful place. I got the prince. You know what I mean? I, I got him. I got the prince of all prince, 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 prince. You know I got, I got him, okay? So let's just say, if you were a chip munching book reader when you were young, or if you are now, 
It'll get you far. It really will. <laughs> it will get you far. Look where I am today. And look where the beauty queen is. And look where the Hamilton guy is. So you just keep munching, girlies. You keep munching those chips, girls. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get back to the little haul. <laughs> okay. Yes, Michelle. You are very lucky to have met someone to have a long-lasting marriage with, and you own your own house which is luxury few can afford. However, you constantly nag Bruce to death, you never act like husband and wife but more like queen and servant. Second, you do not live in a beautiful place. You and Bruce have destroyed your shack with all the hoarding and junk you've placed all around your yard. Especially compared to how clean all your neighbors' houses and yards look. It wouldn't look out of place on an episode of Hoarders. She is winning imaginary arguments she made up in her head to make herself feel better about never being popular with boys and never having friends as a child, which she has passed down to Nate. And this was five years ago, her mental illness has only gotten worse. Even to this day, at almost 60 years old she's still angry and depressed about how her life turned out despite being far better off than a lot of people, but she only thinks about herself and all the pity points she can get from her subscribers. Well there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, please like and subscribe for more chicken lady content. I'll see you in the next one.